Welcome back. Now this week I'm going to look at another piece of functionality that is a part of the substitution clues. If you remember so far we've looked at taking a part of the clue, reversing it when you've substituted and putting it into the answer backwards. We've looked at using single letters on their own, just substituting for themselves. And we've looked at using the first or last letters of words in a sequence just to make the answer, which was a nice easy one. To that, I'm going to add trimming. Really, really common piece of crossword clue substitution functionality where you remove the first or last letter from the word before you put it into the answer. Bit of a giveaway for the example clue, but let's do it anyway. Harmonic sounds stopped short mob in black suits. Six letters. Harmonic sounds stopped short mob in black suits. Now, the obvious place to start with this one is here. Harmonic sounds. How many synonyms can there possibly be for harmonic or harmonic sounds? So you're thinking this is probably a definition. If you can find a two, three letter word that fits in as a part of the substitution, quite unlikely. So probably a definition going on there. If you were concentrating last week, you'll remember black suits. I was talking about playing cards, suits in cards, and how they can be indicated clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades by single letters. The black suits, clubs and spades, are the C and the S. So if something is in black suits, it means that the black suits are around the outside of it. C and S, S and C. One of those two things, and they will be the first and last letter. Everything else is in the black suits, so they will definitely be the first and last letters, but you don't know which way around, there's no way to tell. So if you're confident that's your definition, and you're confident of what this bit's doing, you've only got this, stop, short, mob. And that's where the trimming bit comes in. I know I gave it away before. So you know, or you can have a reasonable guess, that you're looking for a word for mob which is missing a letter and is then in between the C and the S. And the whole thing is going to mean harmonic sounds. So you start running through words for mob. And eventually you get to horde. And horde, without the E, makes chords in the middle of the C and the S. So that is a really simple example of how you take a word, you have to substitute it first and then cut it down by a single letter. Now, that could be indicated by a number of things. It's either the action that is done to it, cut down, chopped off, curtailed, or it's the state that it's in afterwards. So most of mob or almost all of mob in black suits would do the same thing. It, almost all of that word in this other word. So that means lose a letter from it. There's no way of knowing which one trial and error process fitting it together with the other bits. So there are a, a, an enormous variety of things that can indicate you need to do this. But it's just nice to be aware that if you're trying to find a substitution thinking, why can't I find a synonym for stop short or stopped on its own? Remember that that could just be telling you take a letter out somewhere else. And it doesn't have to be this way around either. Mob stopped short would also do the same thing. So the indication for what to do with the word can come before or after it, but it will always be the word right next to the action indicated. So briefly something is another one, something briefly, briefly something, same idea. And there are, like I say, a number of ways this might be indicated, but that's a nice simple indication. You had your definition there, this told you to cut a letter off the end of that and then put it in the black suits, the C in the S, the clubs and the spades from last week. So that's a nice simple introduction to the trimming style of um, substitution. Good luck spotting that and happy solving.